What's going on guys? Back at you guys with another presentation. Um, I want to talk to you guys about um, a male epidemic. Um, this is something that's going on with men. And um, it's very prevalent amongst men. And uh, you know what? No one wants to talk about this. Nobody wants to talk about the um, the frustration and the 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 mental well-being and the uh the depression that a lot of men experience um this is something that a lot of people just want to keep on the down low and they don't want to talk about the struggles that men go through and you know men men go through a lot of struggles in life and um it's funny how no one wants to talk about the struggles that men go through because men experience a lot of trauma in life and it's like as a man you know you gotta be you gotta man up you know as a man um you can't talk about your problems or your issues as a man um this is a big problem amongst men and this is something that no one wants to talk about that's the problem with this issue here um, you got a lot of men who are suffering in silence out here. You got a lot of men who are going through pain. You know, it's a lot of men going through pain, sadness, depression, all kind of issues. And you know what? No one wants to talk about it, but it needs to be talked about. You got a lot of men who use alcohol and drugs to numb the pain that they feel inside. And it's really sad. Um, it's sad how as a man society has told men that uh, you just got to suck it all up and you just got to deal with it the best way you can you know that's the sad part about this society and like I, you know you got a lot of men suffering in silence a lot of men are just dealing with a lot of emotional turmoil and they need somebody to talk to it's a lot of dudes that need somebody to talk to, you know. Um, it's, it's, it's sad that we live in a society where men cannot sh express themselves or talk about what's going on with them. It's very unfortunate that we live in this kind of world. Um, you know, women can talk about their issues, but men, we can't talk about our issues. And you know what's so sad about this society is that no one cares about the mental well-being of men. No one does. And that's the problem. Um, a lot of men tend to bury their emotions and they don't talk about what's going on with them. They just keep it buried down, you know, and um, I think and, and I feel like it's very prevalent in the African-American community. This is an issue that's prevalent amongst men in general, but this issue is very prevalent within the African-American community. Um, burying your emotions down, you know, um, not talking about what's going on with you. That's why I say mental illness is definitely on, on the rise when it comes to men. And no one cares about the mental well-being of men. That's what's so sad about this. Um, the mental well-being of men, no one cares. And this is why you have dudes lashing out. This is why you have men who are harboring a lot of anger. And this is why a lot of men are so quick to snap. And they end up deleting themselves or deleting other people. Because... A lot of men are under a lot of emotional stress and I wish society was more uh, sensitive or more sympathetic to the emotions and you know the, the 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 stress that men face but society doesn't care about the stress or the problems that men face and that's what's so sad about this society um, and this, this is why you have a lot of men who have a lot of anger. You know, I truly believe this. A lot of men have a lot of anger because they don't have no outlet. 
they don't have no way that they can express what is going on with them. You know, and um, it's very unfortunate that we live in this kind of world to where society is totally oblivious to the struggles of men. Society is totally oblivious to the depression and sadness that men face. And that's what's so sad about this world is that no one cares about the struggles of men. You know, and you got a lot of men, they don't even talk to nobody about what's going on with them. They just bury their emotions and problems with alcohol and drugs. And that's not good either. I feel like there needs to be some kind of outlet for men to be transparent about their problems, their demons, the issues that they're facing. There needs to be some kind of outlet, you know. Um, unfortunately, we all know in the African-American community, no one believes in talking to counselors or seeking any type of mental health professional. That is a stigma in the African-American community. But I feel like whatever you're dealing with, if you don't want to go talk to a mental health professional, you need to vent how you feel into someone. Because harboring all of these negative emotions inside and dealing with all these problems, this is why you have dudes who just have a lot of anger and they quick to, they quick to fly off the handle. Because they don't have no outlet. They don't have a healthy outlet to express what is going on with them. And, you know, it's very unfortunate that society just doesn't care about the mental well-being of men. We live in a world where, you know, as men, you know, we always told to man up. You know, whatever you're dealing with, you got to toughen up. You got to be strong. You a man, you know. So it's like no one cares about the mental well-being of men you know and um it's sad you know um it's like as a man you're just expected to be a robot you know and just act like nothing bothers you and i don't think this is healthy this is why you have men who are deleting themselves you know uh the de the deletion rate amongst men is extremely high and you want to know why because men don't have an outlet. And as a man, if you try to open up to people about your problems, you know what they're going to do? They're going to shun you. They're going to judge you. They're going to bash you and write you off. So it's like as a man, you're truly all on your own. You don't have no one to turn to. And that is what is so sad. You know, this is why I don't judge people for doing out, you know, doing drugs, being alcoholics. I don't judge people because... No one cares about the mental well-being of men. And as a man, if you talk to anybody about your problems, you know what people think? You're weak. So as a man, you have no one to turn to. You have no one to confide in. But I'm going to just say this. Confide in whoever you feel you need to confide in. If you got a close buddy, you know, someone you feel that's not going to judge you, for your problems or issues, if you feel like you can be transparent with them and talk to them about what's going on with you, do that. Because keeping all of these emotions buried deep down inside of you, this is the problem when it comes to men. And this is why you have a lot of men deleting themselves because they don't have no one to turn to. They don't have no one to talk to about their demons. And what's going on with them. And as a man, let's be frank here. No one cares what's going on with you. You know, people only care about women and children. And, you know, so, you know, people have more compassion for women and children. People don't care about the well-being of men. And the mental health, the mental health of men is totally taken in a very nonchalant manner. No one cares. And that is a problem. That's why I say as a man, if you got anybody that you can open up to or confide in, do that. You know, because keeping all of these demons buried deep down within you is not healthy. And it's going to it's going to lead to more men deleting themselves. You know, 
because they don't have no one to open up to or talk to about their problems. Um, it's, it's just unfortunate that is this way and and you know for men that no one cares about the mental well-being of men. What a sad world we live in. But um that's all I'm gonna say about this topic for now. You guys let me know what you think about the mental well-being of men. Do you think that um do you think that there need to be um facilities where men can be transparent and open up? about their problems and demons because I personally do but you guys let me know what you think about this because uh, it's sad how as a man you just all on your own and nobody cares but I'll talk to you guys soon you guys have a good night